So we've just won this new NSF award. We're one of only a few in the country out of a couple of hundred people who applied. And to give you an idea of the scale of that, there are 50 people and in seven institutions uh, participating in this with ASU in the lead. What we're building here, is we, we call an XFEL, which stands for X-ray free electron laser. We've shrunk down the, the very large machines to something that we can have here in the basement of biodesign. So I like to think of the CXFEL as a scalpel compared to the hammer that's the big machines. But our dream really is to convert that into a laser, to shrink the, the X-Fells down to a size that, that we can handle. And so that's our second phase where we're about to enter a, a significant design study to um, basically dot all the I's and cross all the T's so that we can upgrade from the CXLS to the cx -Fell. But it takes only still pictures. And what we really want are movies. We want to see how materials change. We want to see chemical reactions as they occur or all these kinds of excitations that lead to new phenomena like uh, new quantum effects in materials that could really advance energy conservation and uh, new forms of computing. And in order to do that, we need really short pulses of x-rays. With the CXLS, this first machine that we're building, the very first x-ray experiments that we'll do are in something called phase contrast medical imaging. And we think that by doing this, we can image things that you can't see with x-rays today. Things like soft tissue injuries that happen to our soldiers, uh, brain degeneration. Um, so anytime that there's soft tissues involved, you know, uh, tendons, blood vessels, plaques and blood vessels, we will be able to sensitively detect that in, inside a, a body. ASU, of course, has just yet again won the most innovative university uh, award from U.S. News and World Report. And this project exemplifies uh, that, that can-do attitude. You know, it starts with President Michael Crow. Anytime you want to do something new, nobody's done it, you're not following a recipe, um, you have to take risks and, and, and get out there and, and innovate. It, it takes, uh, you know, bright thinking, it takes a conservative approach, uh, but also the, the willingness to take the leap and not just copy others. And, so uh, that spirit is very much alive here at ASU, and I think this project really exemplifies it.